What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end. And before we get started, I want you to do me a quick favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, put yourself on to the Hoodlum Gang so you can get this content every time I drop it. Now, as you can see by the title, we're going to get into it today. It's a lot of stuff going on in the algorithm right now that I could easily touch on but I don't like to always talk about what everybody else is talking about I do get caught up in that like a lot of content creators do it's easy to go <clears throat> with what's trending especially if it's drama but uh not gonna do that today homie um talk about a little something else that pertains to not only me but some of you other content creators and that's these uh nameless faces <clears throat> or faceless names aka these nobodies um everybody got them on their channel man and uh it's 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 not everybody but the majority of the people that don't have a profile pic and they got some type of weird name, like I don't know. It could be like I'm just I'm just throwing this out there. This ain't nobody name, at least not that nobody I know of. It could just be like uh, I kill niggas. You know what I mean? Just some crazy shit. They be the most wet talking niggas in the comments, and it it blows my mind, homie. Because no matter what I say, no matter how I phrase it. It's like people come on there to disagree. No matter what you say, homie. No matter what you talking about. Somebody, and I'm not saying everybody going to agree with you. That's not what I'm saying. If you have a legitimate argument, some people do. And we just agree to disagree. Like, I'll be like, all right, homie, you right. And I'm still going to feel the way I feel. Or I'll just stop talking to them. But some of these dudes, a lot of these dudes, homie, they come on wrong already like it's one thing to disagree or have a different perspective but when you come on there and the first words out of your mouth is oh he's a weird ass nigga or a buster and they start talking like that it's like okay bro you would not talk like that in person homie but you hiding behind that account homie and that shit crazy because At the end of the day, you got to look yourself in the mirror. <clears throat> Especially if you're a grown man, homie. Some of these might be kids, I don't know. Or squares that live in a born town and need some excitement. <clears throat> but uh, some of these dudes, they just be off the wall with what they be saying, homie. Um, <clears throat> one that comes to my mind. And this dude, he had a profile picture. I'm not... He, he he didn't really say nothing wrong, but just this just lets you know. Well, he did say something wrong, but this just lets you know how uneducated people be when they jump into the realm of certain topics that they're not used to being included in. But the internet gives everybody a voice. So you might have not been in the inner circle to hear certain types of conversations had you ran across a certain caliber of a nigga in the streets. But he told me, like I said, he had a profile picture. I'm just, I don't remember his name, but you're going to remember when you hear this. He told me that uh, t Real is not a crip. He a criminal. And um, he an orange rag. And I'm just like, you got to do your homework, homie, before you speak. Because, yes, he's he, he from Hoover. But everybody knows five dudes is the ones that still cripping. So for him to come on there and speak matter of factly as if he has some type of knowledge that I was unaware of is crazy to me. Like, hey, what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? Like, all right, you know, okay, whatever. Then uh, when I did the, 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 well, the same video, you had niggas talking about out-of-towners always being in L.A. politics. Let me tell you something, homie. Oh, my shit that went out. When you... When you put yourself out here, including myself, when you put videos out there, you are going to receive 
backlash, feedback, uh, 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 even if it's positive or negative, it doesn't matter. So when people put stuff on the internet and then we talk about it because it's public information and a lot of these people are public figures, the baby stone gorillas are public figures. Now they're rapping. They're trying to blow up and be big. They're public figures. T real, a public figure. How is that speaking on LA politics? That's literally speaking on the shit that they put out there, whether it be the nigga who recorded them at the courthouse or it's them on no jumper talking about the situation. That's not speaking on LA politics. That's not me speaking on what I heard happen in the alley or a backyard somewhere. This nigga getting DP'd or whatever the case is. And the only time I did speak on that is when C-Mac himself got on live beat up after the DP. Once you put it out there, that's public information. If C-Mac had never went live and we had never seen a snippet, that little 10 minute snippet when he was on the ground, I wouldn't have never spoke on that. That's speaking on LA politics. But when you put it on this here internet, it's up for uh, 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 criticism or, or, or perspective, homie. And that's what y'all gotta understand. It don't matter where motherfucker from they just happen to be from la they could be from kentucky tomorrow nigga i'm gonna speak on that you know what i mean so when people come out saying crazy shit like that it just baffles my mind homie i just be like man like i said homie comprehension is not the key uh i'm, I'm tripping communication is not the key comprehension is the key and a lot of these people lack common sense homie um you got uh what the fuck else they tell me? They tell me some crazy shit. Uh, I'm going to get back to that one. But anyways, um, a couple people told me that I'm always defending the essays. And it's like, bro, I spoke up twice. Whack 100 versus Thres. He did, he, you know, Wack is a weirdo. Most people don't even agree with Wack. He say a lot of shit about Tupac, Nipsey, all kind of shit. Uh, but as soon as he say something about the essay, y'all automatically take his side. Like, bro, no, he's wrong again. I'm going to speak on that. I just spoke on what I spoke on on Tiger. But everybody ignores the fact that when Dove said what he said, and I responded to that and defended my people, but y'all just ignore that and just say, oh, he keep, he keep defending them. Like, come on, bro. That's weirdo shit. They could have been white. They could have been Arab. It don't matter, bro. I'm going to say something. Um, Like I said, Right and wrong ain't got no color. Uh, then another dude told me that I only respond to people that agree with me, which is not true. I'm literally, if, if you go through my comments, I'm literally in my comments going back and forth with all types of niggas who disagree with me. So why would you say I only respond to people that agree with me? Like this shit is crazy. I told y'all somebody who wasn't even subscribed to my channel literally left a comment I told them to unsubscribe if they don't like what I'm talking about. And they said, oh, I'm not even subscribed. So why you didn't just click out the video, homie? Why you didn't just click out and keep going about your business? Like, this shit crazy. And I'm really just tripping. Like, I'm not upset at all. Man, I'm about to go out to eat. Got a beautiful woman. You see what I'm smoking on? It's just, you niggas are crazy, homie. And it's kind of funny to me, but it's sad on your behalf. But anyways, man, that's just my video for today. Like I said, I could have touched on any thing that's in the algorithm right now but i'm not doing that um y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments i know some of you trolls gonna come in the comments and keep on running y'all mouth and i'm going to address you again so for like i said once again for a motherfucker to say that i only respond to people that i agree with of course i can't respond to everybody i don't respond to everybody that agree with me it's too many people to respond to homie i pick and choose randomly but anyways this your boy hoodie from the hood aka your friend from that big old m and hit that like comment subscribe all you custer ass faceless ass nameless ass Hiding behind profile trolls. Y'all can stay. Y'all can go. You could take a long walk off a short cliff into a puddle of death. It really don't matter to me. I'm out, nigga.